is my life. Rewind my life, let me take you to my past. When I was dead broke, yeah, I was doing bad. Fast forward to the friends, take a look at me now. I pause, tell them haters, hey, just look at me now. Michigan State all the way, you know? Opportunities, how comfortable I was with the university and the staff, ball staff, basketball staff, and just got a warm feeling about them and a good vibe just in general. Yeah, possibly playing basketball and football. Hopefully, if I if I had an opportunity to start as a freshman, then I'm not gonna really consider basketball as much. I really want to play basketball because I love to play the sport, so I think I got an opportunity to play both. From the Under Armour All-American game uh, in Florida, that was one of the wildest experiences I ever had when it came to football. Just being around that much talent, being able to talk stuff, and then they talk stuff and then tell stories about crazy stuff, comparing. I, I hung out with uh, Nick Montana, hung out with Blake, one of the, quarter, the quarterbacks, you know. But it was a lot, a lot of wild stuff. One of the funniest persons or players that I met down there was Jeff Luck. He seemed tough and stuff with all the videos and stuff. I ain't saying he's not tough, but he's a hilarious guy. He's one of the goofiest people I know. I thought I was goofy. He pretty goofy. I just remember my first, every time I think about City Ballers, I think about when I used to stay on Linwood and right down the street and then you came up and you was like, I'm doing this design for this internet, you know, you're gonna have this page. You're gonna feature the PAL teams or something. That was, it was so sick. If that's at a young age, it was sick. I was like, man, I can't wait. The first time I met Coach English, I was just about to walk in here. I was walking in the weight room, and I'm listening to everybody else, and I hear a real deep voice. I'm like, is they in there watching Friday? Because they was in the coach's office. I thought they was watching uh, Friday at the next. Because he sounds just like Debo to me. So I'm looking like, y'all hear that? I'm like, that don't sound like the words off the movie. <laughs> And then uh, I came in there, and he was like, yeah, what's up, with his real deep voice and stuff. And I looked like, damn, this nigga sound. I was like, coach, you sound just like Debo. He's like, yeah, but I look better. <laughs> First time I met Coach Collins, I was like, man, this guy look like he in the mafia because he always wearing suits and stuff. Like, look like he in the mafia. I saw the defensive coordinator. Wow, because he told me when I first got here, he was like, he said, when you transfer in here and you play football, I'm going to make you the number one player in the state. You're going to be a five-star athlete, and you're going to be in the top 25 in the country by the time you graduate. And all of it happened. He said, as long as you put in that work, I got you. He had my back ever since then. Then he made me write down a list of goals, five-year, 10 years, seasonal goals, a lot of stuff that I never really did. And it really helped me as far as gathering my head together and just learning a new sense of structure a new way to look at life. If you plan everything out ahead of time, it'll be easier for you to go through it and train. Hey, Mr. Bob, I really think you should consider giving City Ballers a contract with the Detroit Public Schools because it's one of the best ways to get exposure is through the highlight tapes, the film, the interviews, all this. It's great. That's how I got a lot of my, a lot of my exposure came from City Ballers. So I just think that everybody's had the same opportunity that I had. So I really think you should give them a contract with cityballers.com. I'm about to show you guys how I roll on a day-to-day -day basis in school. And uh, you know, I might take y'all lunch first, so let's go. Um, let me let me come to you. <laughs> what? Um, about countless weeks. Hey, no rest.
My name is Wesley Anderson. I'm going to be a future SG next year. Southeastern High School Jungle Liz. That's all you're going to say? That's all I'm going to say, man. You can saw you can see it. That's all I'm going to say, this man. You got to keep it easy, man. This day in the life. It's supposed to, like, you got to keep it easy. He's a new head coach. Yeah. He I'm, said, I'm, just, I'm just looking out for the Jungle Liz family. Trying to keep the family together. That's it. <laughs> yep. That's it. Proud of these boys right here. Mr. Tuta and Mr. Jonathan Hank Hankins. DB. Oh, Ohio State University and Michigan State University. That's the G shot boy. Ooh. They think the they have uh, you made it. The red one. Let me get the back one. I got the blue. But uh, they ain't touching mine though. Actually, yeah. the work starts now. Yeah. Now is when they gotta go to work. They've been working for four years. They gotta go to work now for real at the next level. Don't we don't recruit, do we? Like Hank said, we. Do. No, I didn't mean to say that. He said we were, they recruit on <laughs> national television. I did not mean to say that. <laughs> when I was at Southwest, they recruited. No, you. Did you mean to say? That? I didn't mean to say that. You know what I'm saying? What did you mean to say? I mean to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't no coaches, so I just came to SC and Coach Collins. That's still getting recruited. No, it's not. No, it's not. Man. He's pro. It's not. No, they ain't had no coaches. So you left? Yeah, I left. Came over here. He said he was gonna get me in school. Oh, I thought you moved. Yes, for something here. He transferred oh. and left. I know you was not talking. You played for um, so many But shows. I'm saying, I keep moving around. I ain't been two places. I've been three. It's one ahead of you. Or, or three or four. You never know. Peace. All right, go see you. He was our running back coach last year. The reason why Paris was told to no that. No buck eyes, baby. That's not even cool. I'm about to be whooping these boys for the past. Watch out. The next four years when I'm there. We don't play on next year. At 11. At 11? Yeah. On the first. Just don't worry, man. You better get on offense to block for your quarterback. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to let you know. I'm going to be at running back. You're going to be at running back? Sweet <laughs> number eight. No. What else? I think it's about to be six hours. About to have your book class. I think about to go up there. A little bit early, that way I get my little journalism stuff going on, writing my stories or whatever. Yeah. They know the boys by now. 